Show. And moving things right along here on a Friday morning with a dumbass contest that we're ready to go and play with you. 877-44. Woody is the number. And we are going to play the D-U-I-Q. Yeah. As Greg grooves out to Depeche Mode. <laughs> I'm grooving hard. This is a good song. I want to say this came out like in 97. It's no good. I think you're right. Yeah. Somewhere around there. It was a, it was a late 90s or... All right, so DUIQ, let's say hi to our contestants, say hello to Matt. Hey, good morning, Matt. How are Matt. you? Good morning, crew. First morning. time, long time. Oh, thanks. Oh, happy, right. And a happy Friday to you, sir. And Woody, you're correct. 97. 97? Damn, yeah. I'm good at that. I was good. good. Yeah. I would have thought that, like, quite honestly, the Depeche Mode stopped in the 80s. I have yeah, no, I, same. I have no idea that they had yeah, these. Right. They have a new album as of last year. Who knew? Wow. Yeah, but Memento like, Mori, look into it. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> Googs it. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, uh, Matt, you're going to play the DUIQ, and Seabass, explain the way the game works, please. I hit these streets to find out who's nice and drunk and who wants to answer trivia questions, and that's the game. Is you listen to a drunk person try to answer trivia questions, and you guess whether they know the answer. You don't have to guess the answer to the questions. That's of course duh. not. That's, Everyone, that's above and yeah, beyond. It's a given. Right. If you, know, if you can guess whether the drunk person knows the answer, and if you can guess that correctly two times out of three, you win. All right. And so uh, we have a drunk here that we're going to get to know a little bit first. That way you can use that to... Try to gauge whether they're really with it or really out of it. Yeah. Considering that they are drunk. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to guess also with Menace and Sammy. They're stone cold sober sober this morning. And we'll see how they do as well. Matt, who do we have here? Uh, Seabass, is it Jonathan? Jonathan. He's okay. out partying with his bros and nice. his uh, rosettes. <laughs> and he's, uh, you know what? He's excited. He's going to tell us all about it. All right. What do you guys have to drink tonight? Tequila. Tequila. Nice. Any, anything you give me, I'll drink it. Anything you give me, I'll drink it. Does so anyone ever hand you a shot and you'd be like, oh, I don't want that shot? No. Because I, I ain't no bitch. Marine Corps. <laughs> Marine Corps. Talk. I ain't no bitch. I ain't no bitch. My mind raised no bitch. What's your blood alcohol concentration right now? 0.001. That's not bad at all. Shut the f- I, I can't, I'm the most sober one right now. Uh, put me down and cross the board. No. <laughs> <laughs> that dude is the dude that ends up puking at the end of the night. And oh, or, yeah. And or getting thrown out of the bar and yeah, or yeah, arrested. arrested. Uh-huh. Or it's got to make baby fight. Yeah. yeah, but the Marine Corps taught him how to drink tequila. So. Thank you. Yeah, good. So I mean, I approve good. of the drink of choice. Yeah, and thank you for his service. Yeah. All right, Matt. <laughs> thank you for your drinking. That is, uh, <laughs> that is Jonathan. Now, here are the questions that count. Question number one here on the DUIQ. Jealousy is sometimes personified as the green-eyed what? Ooh. Oh, I know this one. All yeah. right. Uh, let's see. And it's not a clue to say this is Shakespearean, actually, in origin, but... They already knew that. Oh, sure. Okay. Do you guys need to hear the question one more time? Jealousy is sometimes personified as the green-eyed what? All right. I'm going to say that, uh, you know, it's... <laughs> All right. No for, clearly, no for Jonathan. No for... No for mm. Menace. What? All right. Yes for Sammy. She looks oddly confident. <laughs> Mm. Not only are they, gonna get, are they gonna get it right, they're gonna be able to cite the play it came from. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. The stanza. Uh, Greg Gore, what do you think? <laughs> I'm triple no. All right, triple no. I'm, Gina. I'm with you, Woody. He has no idea. I don't think Menace knows. I think Sammy knows. Yeah. All right. Uh what do you think, Morgan? Uh, I can't see Sammy's face right now, but I gotta go triple no. Triple triple, <laughs> triple no. no. It's a safe now uh Medicine Sammy, what do you think about Jonathan? Do you think he's gonna get it? No. Heck no. No. All right. Matt, what do you think? Yes or no for question number one. Uh-huh. Despite how well-spoken he is, I'm going to go no. No. All right, question number one, D-U-I-Q. We'll start with Menace and Sammy. Jealousy is sometimes personified as the green-eyed what? Menace. Monster. <gasps> Sammy. Monster. Monster. Wow, wow look at these two. Oh. Egg on my face. Yeah, all right. Monster. God, aren't we embarrassed? <laughs> Fun fact, obviously, most people know it from Othello, but he actually first used the line in The Merchant of Venice. Which mm. was right. way yeah. better than that. I, I couldn't have told you where it came from. I heard yeah. that before. The, I've seen it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I've been couldn't to tell Venice. Couldn't tell you what the source was. Yeah. Yeah. I've been to Othello. All right, question number one. Here's Jonathan in the DYQ. Jealousy is sometimes personified as the green-eyed what? <laughs> green-eyed giant. What Whoa. does the green-eyed giant say? <laughs> fee fi fo fa <laughs> yeah. 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 That's great. All right, well, good news. Matt, Draw you're on Matt. the board. You got your first point. Nice. And you got two more questions. You try to get one more point to be the winner this week on the DUIQ. Here we go. Question number two. What team's fans carry the terrible towel? All right. Uh, mm. hmm. so that's another one. Uh, we are here. Well, I shouldn't say. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to say Menace. Yes. 
Sammy again, looking pretty confident. I'll say yes. Jonathan, God, I want to say yes, but I'll, I'll say no for Jonathan. Gregory, what says you? No for Jonathan. No for Jonathan. Looking at Menace, that's not confident. <clears throat> um, mm-hmm. I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to say yes for Menace as well. Okay. Mm, really? And then Sammy, yes. All right. Uh, Gina. I'm going to do something crazy, and I'm going to sweep yes. You're going to sweep crazy. yes for You're this insane. one. All right. Yeah. All right, we're still kind of new. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Morgan, what do you think? Yeah, I'm with Gina. We got to sweep yes for this one. Okay. It's too easy. Too easy. No. Menace and Sammy, mm-hmm. what do you think about our drunk friend Jonathan? Will he get it? No. No. All right. Matt, yes or no? Given his intro, it sounds like he could even be a fan of this team, so I'll <laughs> say yes. Mm. Oh, All right. Dang. Well, because they party hard and he sounds really cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah, I get it. So, yeah. yeah, I get it. Awesome dude. All right. Question number two for the DUIQ. What team's fans carry the terrible towel? Menace. Steelers. Of. Steelers. Steelers. Look at these guys. Thank you. Look at these guys. On fire. Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, the question is here. Does Matt win the DUIQ? Does even Jonathan our drunk know the answer because if he gets it right, then uh, our friend Matt here is going to be the winner. Question number two: What team's fans carry the terrible towel? The Washington Football Team. They think they're nice, oh. but they're not. Oh. They're really not. <laughs> now, what are they called now? The Washington Football Team. Oh, the um, <laughs> Americans Football Team because uh, they're racist. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you were right. close. Double down. You were you were close. All right, well, Matt. There you go. And Gina, yeah. there goes your Tried. your confidence in a sweep. Yeah. Well, Matt, you still have one more question here in order to win this round of the DUIQ. Question number three. In the Bible, Moses spoke to a burning what? <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> no for Jonathan. <laughs> yes for both. And this is just now taking this pen cap off. I know. <laughs> but he's probably trying to figure out what the letters look like so he can write them down. Get it. And uh, uh, I'll say yes for th- I think team. Menace and Sammy sweep this week. Really? So I'll say wow. no, Jonathan. Yes, Sammy and Menace. Uh, Greg Gorey. Uh Okay, I'm gonna start with Jonathan. That's a no, right? Sammy, I'm gonna say yes for some reason. I don't okay. know why. Menace is the wild card here. Um, He's a wild card. I'm gonna mm-hmm. say sorry, buddy. No, no. Uh, Gina Grat. Do I learn nothing? Because I'm going three yeses. Three yeses again. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, Morgan? Uh, no for Jonathan. Yes for Sammy and Menace. Yes for Sammy and Menace. Okay. Uh, now, Menace and Sammy, what do you think about our drunk friend Jonathan? Will he get this question right? No. No. <laughs> no. All right. Uh, Matt, what do you think? I got to go no on this one. Okay. Wow. You sure? This is make or break. You're saying no. Yeah, you can't pull that Regis on me. I'll just stick with my no, final answer. I'm just making sure. <laughs> that on the maker, yeah. I was saying on the maker break, so I was yeah, giving people a chance yeah. to reconsider. That's okay. All right, question number three here on the DUIQ. In the Bible, Moses spoke to a burning what? Menace. Bush. Sammy. Bush. Whoa. First wow. of all, Bush. Yeah. That's sweet, people. That is Suck a on sweep. That, great, gory. <laughs> <laughs> that is a sweep. Now, wow. Matt said that our drunk... Jonathan will not get it right, and if that is the case, he will be the winner of the DUIQ. In the Bible, Moses spoke to a burning what? Oh, no, Jesus, no, no, no. Jesus drank back. some blood! Ah! A blunt! <laughs> All right. Yes. Well, no, he said Jesus drank some blood. blood. Oh, blood! Okay, I thought you were going to would have been better. Blood. All right. Well, hey, either way, Matt, congratulations. Right, Matt. You are the winner Amazing. of this week's DUIQ. Yeah. Noise. Thank you so much, sir, for listening to The Woody Show. Do me a favor. Hang on one second. We'll get all your information. You have yourself a great weekend, all right? Yeah. Likewise. Thanks, right. guys. There you go. See you, All right. Bye. 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 Right. There's, uh, there's Matt, our winner on the DUIQ, guys. Mm-hmm. Great. Why am I shocked? He didn't you know? You shouldn't be. Mom, see, we're not shocked. I know. But we've been doing this for a long time. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I think you, if, you, if you went back through school today, you'd be shocked, quite literally, to learn how little they're teaching kids. Yeah. It's just... What we thought was general world yeah. knowledge. I mean, I'm not sure they're covering the burning bush. It's not necessary. Unless they're like in some kind of like private Christian yeah, school. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not even Christian, and that's just like pop culture knowledge. Exactly. Yeah. I know, but I'm saying like if you're younger, I can understand you not yeah. knowing it because they're not teaching that in but, school. Right. Let's be to Menace's it's point. Both testament. It's not necessary. But then what are they teaching them? Yeah, what is it? What's, what, hope, what's eight like, hours a day? What's going on? How to do your taxes. Right, yeah. Uh, okay, right, exactly. we hit that, how to have hit, a budget. We've hit yeah, that nail on the head. Do your own laundry. Cook for yourself. You do that in a month. What's the other 18 years? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Technology. Good question. Yeah. Uh.
All right, we're going to take a uh, quick break. we got some more Woody Show for you next. Hang on. <laughs> 